Hello everybody, Drew here, tip of the mitt flips, where I'm a full-time eBay reseller and every 100 subscribers, there's a giveaway. So if you're watching, make sure you subscribe so you have a chance to win. I'm back. I, if you are a current or previous viewer, if you are a subscriber, that's what I'm looking for. I've been gone a while. It's, uh, it's getting close to... No, it hasn't been a month, but it's been a long time. It's been extended. I'm not gone. I'm not going anywhere. I just, I took from Thanksgiving till Christmas easy. And then from Christmas to New Year, I took e off from eBay. I still had to ship stuff whenever that happened to happen. But because I had been taking it easy since Thanksgiving, there wasn't a lot of things to ship. And then from New Year's till now, I took a break from YouTube. I just wanted to, because in order for me to feel comfortable slowing down during the holidays, taking a week off around Christmas, I have to front end a lot of my listing. So I wanted to start the, the year putting in the time, putting in the work solely on eBay. So that's what I did. Just hit listings really hard and just took a break, extended break from YouTube and I'm back. First thing today is we're going to introduce, and by we, I mean the metaphorical we, because I mean me. I'm going to introduce uh, a new segment called What's, What's That Worth? And what that's worth is going to be a type of, like a game show type, where I will show you a product, and then in the comments, I would love for you, because this is fun for me, I would love for you to make a guess at how much this product sells for on eBay. And let's do free shipping just to make it easy. So whatever you think the product will cost plus shipping, just combine that all into one price. Therefore, it'll be a free shipping, free shipping price because it'll be combined. And then whoever this time, not always, but this time because I'd like people to do it, I think it's gonna be fun. Whoever gets closest, Price is right rules, so if you go over, you're disqualified. Whoever gets closest to the actual price, then they will win uh, tip of the mitts, magnets, and stickers. And I will send those out to you. You'll just have to give me your address, and I'll slap those in an envelope and send them out to you. I'll give you a couple of each, just because I'm excited to do this. I think it's going to be fun, and I'd like to make this a weekly segment. So if you also like this, please get involved. Please make a guess. Please tell me you enjoy it. But the item for What's, What's That Worth this week is going to be Old Playtex and Chubbs, I think is the other brand. But these are old vintage at this point. They don't make them anymore. I got to check the date, but I think these would be considered vintage baby wipes containers in the shape of Lego blocks that you actually can use as Lego blocks. And I was surprised that these have a value. These ones are not in great shape, but I got them in bulk. There is about 50 of them in here. So how much do you think one of those is worth? So what's that worth? And pulling orders today is going to be I don't want to say easy because it's one of them weighs 50 pounds, but there's only two items that sold over the weekend, but that's okay because it is a total of $375. That's perfect. And let's just go ahead and go to the big ticket item. Let me go ahead and pull it out real quick. Now this one I am very, very not excited to pack. It's heavy. It's bulky. I'm going to have to make a box. It's going to take if I had to guess, it's going to take an hour minimum to pack because you want to do it right because I got $364.99 for this realistic 2000D tuner amplifier that had been sitting here for six months. It took two days to sell. Why? Why do I always do this? I always do it. I go, that's going to be a pain. I don't want to get to it right now. Let me list some easy stuff. It's stupid. It's stupid. It took me around an hour to clean and test. And at some point, I thought it was broken because it has a very weird, um, I don't know, relay or something where you have to connect these across or nothing happens. So I just took a, a basic RCA cable, 
plugged it across. It normally comes with a little jumper and it looks like an electrical staple that you just shove in there. I don't, I don't know. It's my best guess was that if you wanted to use the amp, but not the tuner or the tuner, but not the amp, it was the, how you could get away with that. I, I don't know, but either way, this big old beast, 50 pounds ish, probably 47, somewhere in there. It's crazy, but it took two days to sell. And like I said, $364.99. I did give them 5% off. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? And next thing going out is Heart of Gold. CD. Heart of Gold by somebody, Ruth Alberta Brown. Um, and that is a book, of course. And I got $14.99 free shipping. That'll go media mail. That is a very easy packer. I'll do that first. But that's all the sales. So if it wasn't for that, that would have been a, a miserable sales weekend. And I've been listing like crazy. So who knows? Just maybe an after Christmas lull. January last year was my best month of the entire year. So I was hoping for something like that again. But it's not looking like that so far. But that's... It. I keep concerning myself with things I shouldn't concern myself with. Like how much trouble it's going to be to list something like this. Just go through the process and list it. I don't know when it's going to sell. I think I do. I, I don't know. I think I outsmart the system. I don't. It's impossible. So let me move this stuff over real quick because I think I hurt myself lifting that up because I don't know why, but I thought it was a good idea to put it on that bottom shelf because it's it was too heavy for these ones. These are still, these are steel. And I put a lot of weight on them, but I didn't want to push it. So I put down here on these bigger steel shelves, whatever. I, I don't know why, what my reason was. You know what it was? I thought it was going to be there a long time. I was wrong. I was happily wrong. But I figure since it's been a while, been a while, and it's a new year, I figured why not do a little year end recap? So... I went back and I looked over some sales numbers, some different, went back and watched some, some of my first videos to just see how far I'd come, which I don't know. I, I hit my stride about like how my videos look very early, but those first couple, woo, a little cringy. I don't know. It was, <laughs> you, you learn quickly doing something almost every day, but my goals for this year, I would like to increase sales by 10%. I think that is easily manageable easily i think it'll be closer to 20 but i think the 10 percent i will hit without even trying i would also like to increase my price per item i talk about that a lot and last year my price per item was 21 dollars per item which I, that surprised me because i thought it would be a lot lower because i sell a lot of cheap items um but i must sell enough big ticket items to make up for it i think the the thousand dollar book set might have skewed that number a little higher than it actually is. Take that one out and it's probably closer to about 19 per item, which is what I th was thinking, but I'd like to get it closer to around 25. So what I got to do, I got to list higher ticket items. I got to sell higher ticket items. I mean, that's, that's simple, simple math. I just got to figure out how to find more high ticket items. Also, I like the freedom that this job gives me as far as working when I want, taking off time when I want. But I think the cost benefit of doing it that way is not working out. So I'm gonna give myself a work schedule. I'm gonna come in on certain time of the day, I'm gonna work a certain time, take a lunch at a certain time, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that for a while and see if productiv productivity picks up, if sales pick up, and if I just find a groove that I like and I can just stick with it, because I like routine. I just, I don't think I've ever taken the effort with this to really have a routine. So I'm gonna try to do that. Also, I did at the end of the year do an inventory and that I would say is crucial. I will do that. I don't think I'll do it throughout the year. It wasn't that bad, but I had lost 13 items. And by lost, I mean they were on a shelf, but not in my store. And I think what happened is when they switched over how they do unpaid item cases, you used to have to file a case and blah, 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 and go through steps. And it took, you had to wait five days to file and then file it and then give them three days to pay or something like that. It was extended. Now it's like, I think three days and they just, eBay just cancels the order for you. 
But what it doesn't do is relist those items. And I did not know that because it used to, when you had an unpaid item case, when it was in your favor, the item would automatically automatically relist. And so I ended up losing 13 items and I have a total dollar amount um, for around $300. And one of them was a big oversized printer that was a hundred and something dollars, $120, something like that. It sold the same day I relisted it. So I'm not gonna, I don't have enough items to facilitate or have a need to do an inventory often, maybe twice a year. Maybe I'll do that. We'll see, it's unlikely. <laughs> now that I'm saying it out loud, that's very unlikely. But once a year for sure, because it added $300 of items back into my store that were just wasting space. So that's that's definitely going to be something I do going forward. I'm going to sit back down. That felt good. I just get antsy if I sit too long. So so I'm enjoying sitting, but but then I'm like, eh, I got to move. And then as far as YouTube, also with a schedule, I think going forward, I can't start it immediately, but I'd like to do videos religiously. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But because I've taken off so long, I don't have a backlog. I'm not a couple days ahead. Today is a Monday. This video probably will be out today. I can't keep up that kind of a schedule where I record a video on a Monday and put it out on a Monday. It's just, I'd be up all night every every week. So for the first month or so, I'll probably do Mondays and Fridays until I am able, then Monday, Wednesday, Friday going forward. Now, last year, some of this stuff surprised me. I put out 137 videos. That's a video every two and a half days. I, I was... The math, that math didn't add up to me. I was like, I don't know when I was making these videos, but apparently, apparently I was, I don't know. And that was with taking off a long period at the end of the year. So I'm not sure about that, but I would like to get that up to, and it will be easy if I can consistently do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'd like to hit close to 150 videos. I think that's achievable. And if I have a schedule that I stick to, I think I'll get there no problem. My most viewed video, it's gotta just be the subject. I don't know. It's not a great video. It's not a terrible video, but it's it, it's nothing special. And the watch time is very low. So I think people just got caught by the title, maybe. Who knows? But it's, is it time to invest in Beanie Babies? And just a reminder, no, it's not time to invest in Beanie Babies. But that video got 2,324 views, but only 33 likes. And I've got other videos with a tenth that with more likes. So it was definitely... I think it was something that just got mixed into the algorithm and kept getting pumped out because it definitely wasn't the content that deserved 2,324 likes, in my opinion. And then also, I know you guys like the tip of the day, but I would like to be more consistent with it and actually give a little more value to it. So I think what's going to happen is... What's that worth? ...is going to be one of the days of the week. We're going to go with Mondays because today's a Monday and we're already doing it. Tip of the day will be on another day. And then uh, when I'm doing three videos a week, I have a third segment I would like to introduce on Fridays, but I have to check out the legalities of it. So I don't want, I don't want to spoil it in case I do it. If I end up not doing it, I'll tell you what it was supposed to be. But there's some, there's some legal YouTube issues I have to make sure I get right because I would hate to go through all the work and then not be able to have it anyways and get my video taken down. That doesn't sound fun to me at all. So I've cleaned up most of the random things I had sitting around. Still got a list, uh, this dollhouse and those bats. I don't know why I've been waiting around on those. Unfortunately, they were not the ones I thought they were. They're not the $100 ones. They're 30-ish for two of them. And then the other one's about $20. It's very specific which ones are worth more. I found an interesting website. I can't remember, remember what it was called, but it was easy to find and it gave detailed specifics and pictures on which ones are worth money. But the old wooden ones, if you find an old wooden wiffle ball bat, you've, you've scored big. I don't remember how much, but you've scored big. But I've cleaned up a lot of the stuff I had sitting around. And one of the big things that I had, not an epiphany, but I did some research on was this was driving me crazy. That I have a Farberware... Farberware? Faberware. Farberware. Open hearth, electric, rotisserie, griddle, whatever. And that's been listed for over a year, I think. Maybe not that long, but a long time. And I used to sell them all the time. I'd list one, it'd sit for a couple months, maybe, and I would sell it. This one's just been 
nothing, no bites, no interest, no nothing. And so I looked and there was so many listed, an unbelievable amount of them listed and they were cheap. And I mean cheap, like 30 bucks plus shipping. But to ship those is 30 to $50 because they're big. They take up a lot of space. So then I was like, well, I don't, I don't want to lower the price again. It's not even worth my time. I was like, oh, well, I don't want these ones that are, I had two of them sitting around. So I don't want to just scrap them. Let me see. Maybe I could just sell the motor and just call it good. And so I looked and the bits and pieces were worth so much more than I thought. And so what I did is I turned the two I had into this pile of parts and pieces. And then I have a couple here and a couple down there. But it was three times the amount of money I would have got from selling it as a whole piece. I'm going to leave that one together for now. If I sell through any of the pieces on that, that I have one on that, I will then take that listing down, take it apart, and also list those as parts. Because it's taking up, or, or if I run out of space and I want some space, I'll take that down and take it apart. Because it's not worth the space that's up there for the dollars I'm going to get for it and the time it's going to take me to pack it. I used to get $70 for those. They're 30 bucks now. I couldn't believe how many were listed. If I remember right, it was hundreds. And that's that's not that's not something that you can be in a market with where there's hundreds of listings and make any money or sell it in any amount of time that makes sense. If it's one of your 10 listings you have, sure. But if you're trying to run something like I do, that's that's got to go. So I, I'll wait till a couple of the other ones, other bits and pieces sell. And as soon as I need one, I'll take that one apart or if I need the space, like I said. So now for the part I know you've all been waiting for, the answer to what? what? And shockingly enough, what's this worth? $8.51. And how I came to that total is I took five or six of the sold listings, added them together, divided them out so I could get an average. You know, I don't want to just pick and choose, but $8.51 is how much per container I should get on average. And that depends on color, on condition. The ones that are broken hinges and stuff, I'm going to lot them together in a whatever makes sense type of lot. So, you know, fill a, maybe fill a box that's this size and see how many fit in there, something like that. And then the, the pink ones and the blue ones do better because I think they're used for baby showers or maybe baby reveal parties, things like that. And then maybe the more unique colors, who knows? I'm, I don't want to just sell them in bulk, but let's see... I think I have 50, I said. So that's about $425 minus the cost of the free shipping because I will have to pay for the shipping. But still, I paid 40 bucks for the whole box. I figure even if I have to trash 10% of them, I'm still turning 40 bucks into $300, call it, round way down, $300. That is, mwah. I don't know what that was. That was okay and uh, at the same time. One of those weird things that, and how I came across that is someone had them on, on Marketplace for 50 bucks. And I was like, who is this loser trying to sell baby wipe things for 50 bucks? And then I, like most resellers do, I marched my way over to eBay and I typed it in and I looked at sold listings and I went, oh, I got a message this person. So I, during a snowstorm where there's a foot of snow on the ground, I drive out in the middle of nowhere the road road wasn't plowed. Their long driveway wasn't plowed. I get back there. They got big old dually diesels and stuff. That's how they get back there. My little Camry was not enjoying it. But either way, it was worth the trip for me because if I can turn any any time you can turn forty bucks into three hundred, that's great. And that's a low ball estimate as far as I'm concerned. So I'm gonna probably do. I'm gonna see, I'll have to get them out, sort them out, because there's two brands, there's lots of different colors. I might do a multiple, uh, what do they call it? A, a variant listing where you can pick and choose color and how many and all that. This might be one of those cases where that makes sense, but we'll see, we'll see. Well, that's gonna be all for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Subscribe, share, and be good to each other.